Hey y'all, I'm Valerie and welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm making a delicious hamburger soup. This is one of my all time favorite soup recipes. It's easy to make and it's perfect for fall. This video is also part of a fall soup collab hosted by Kat over at Southern Farm and Kitchen. I just love her and her channel. I'll have that linked in my description box below, along with a playlist full of fall soup inspiration. So be sure to check them out for more soup recipes. Now let's get started on this hamburger soup. Now you could also call this vegetable soup or vegetable beef soup. To begin, I added one and a half pounds of lean ground beef to my large Dutch oven, along with one diced onion. Cook this until that hamburger meat is cooked through. By the way, if you're coming over from the playlist, thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button, stick around, and become part of my YouTube family. Okay, back to the recipe. I got rid of that grease with a paper towel. Then I added in one teaspoon of minced garlic. Now stir that around and let that garlic cook for only about a minute. You don't want to let it burn, but long enough to where it starts to become fragrant. Next, I sprinkled in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I added in some pepper to taste, about two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two bay leaves, and don't forget to remove those before you serve this soup. Now I'm adding in a 12 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables. And you can really add any combination of veggies, fresh or frozen, just be creative. Then you'll add in a 15 ounce can of tomato soup, along with two cans of petite diced tomatoes, and I don't drain those, and seven cups of beef broth. And you can use the low sodium kind if you prefer. I use the better than bouillon paste to make my broths, and I get that at Walmart. Give this a good stir, then bring it to a bowl, then drop it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Those veggies need a little time to cook before we add in the potatoes. After 15 minutes, I washed, peeled, and diced up three russet potatoes and carefully add those in. Stir that and then let it continue to simmer for about 10 more minutes. Okay, this is the last ingredient. It's optional, but I have to have macaroni in my hamburger soup. And that was one cup of uncooked elbow pasta. Make sure you keep an eye out on this and stir it occasionally to make sure that pasta don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Let this cook for about 15 more minutes until those noodles are nice and tender. And don't forget to remove those two bay leaves. I had to search a little for mine, but I found them. This soup does thicken up after it sits for a little bit. This soup is delicious. I made some good old southern cornbread to serve with it. Y'all, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I will see you in the next one. Look at my dog. <laughs> Oreo!